Is this University of Toronto? Yeah, I wanted to know about your GPA cutoff requirement. Do you accept less than 3 GPAs? No, I'm asking for a friend. Well, it's it's around 2.7. He graduated 3 years ago. Yeah, I'll do some research. I'll, I'll look into that website. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sadia Khaf. I'm a PhD student here in Montreal, Canada. And today we are talking about how to get admission in masters in Canada with a GPA less than 3.0. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sadia, isn't GPA kind of a deal breaker when it comes to applying to grad schools? So, zero chances of admission with low GPA? Not necessarily. There are a couple of strategies that you can apply to still get admission. But first things first, if you're still an undergrad student, it is not too late to boost your GPA. Take extra courses, take, repeat any courses in which you have some low grade, uh, take humanities or some other easy courses from other faculties that can improve your GPA. Heck, even bribe your friends to help you memorize those organic chemistry formulas. Do what you have to to improve your GPA while you still can. But if you have already graduated, then it's time to get editing. What do I mean by that? Start editing your SOP and your resume to include your extracurricular activities, to take out all the things that makes your SOP and your CV less than impressive, and start adding things that make you stand out. If you're looking for some more tips about that, I will link another video somewhere up there that will tell you how to make your SOP stand out among others, how to write your CVs, or just go ahead and check other videos on my channel. That would help you a lot writing your CV and your SOP. And if you're looking for further help, if you need me to personally take a look at your CV and help you edit it, check the link in the description. I can personally take a look at your CV and your SOP and help you edit that. Another thing that matters a lot for admission in Canada is your important letter of recommendations. So it's time to take out your letter of recommendations. Get those letter of recommendations from professors who can really attest to your research potential for grad school studies. Contact professors who are well known in their field, but also the professors who really personally know you well, who have observed your work and who can personally say something meaningful about the quality of work they have observed in you. Another important factor, specifically when you're applying for master's programs in Canada, is to look for the universities itself. There are basically two types of universities in Canada, one that have strict GPA cutoff and others that don't have strict GPA cutoffs. Or universities that take other factors other than GPA into account and have a holistic approach to their application process like University of Toronto uh, and others that don't take into account other factors and have a strict GPA cutoff. Also, some universities in Canada for master's programs have inherently high GPA requirements like University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, they will have a GPA requirement between 3 and 3.3 somewhere. There are some other Canadian universities, very good Canadian universities, that have lower GPA cutoffs. For example, Simon Fraser University have a GPA cutoff of 2.5 only. Same goes for University of Victoria, University of Alberta, University of New Brunswick. They all have GPA requirement of 2.5 only. There's also University of Waterloo that has GPA requirement of 2.7 only. So if you want to apply uh, for a master's program in Canada and want to know the GPA requirements or cutoffs for any of those, check the website go to university.com. I will leave it somewhere on the screen as well. Uh, and in the video description, go to that to check the GPA requirements of the university before you apply. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of students making is not reaching out to the universities and asking them what are your GPA requirements or do you accept low GPA? Do you accept less than 3 GPAs? Well, it's, it's around 2.7. He graduated 3 years ago. Yeah, I'll do some research. I'll, I'll look into that website. 
If you can provide a solid, a good explanation of your grades and show your commitment to improve, a lot of the universities might be able to make considerations for you, but you have to pick up the phone, call them and talk to them, talk to the admissions committee, talk to the registrar's office and ask questions before you apply. Now, if you're feeling motivated after watching this video, then there are only two questions that you need to ask yourself. One, is your SOP ready for an admissions application or are there any obvious blunders in it? Two, which universities accept low GPAs and you need to apply to them? So if it's the question about the low GPAs, then, then that video is up there. And if it's the question about your SOP, that video is up there. Go watch them and I'll see you in the next one.